break. And in this game against a Bristleback, you're probably going to want to towards keeping low. Sea Smile again, just being swashbuckled down. Bolt now complete on the Pangolier. Sea Smile, he's still a little bit too far away from his. I don't have the level three, but it's uh, coming out to him now. It's so late, though. It's going to really hurt his laning phase. Naughty C, Pangler almost oh, doubling his CS, and that's going to be a kill coming out as well. Law brings him down. As expected, yes. Much. But knowing the Wisp is going to be okay on his own really enables uh, Matthew to come in and try and help out here. And he's going to get the water room. Might be in trouble, though. Law just kind of chasing him down. I think he's just going to be able to kill him here. I don't see Matthew getting away from this one with Swashbuckle available in one second. Oh, Spirit Breaker. Oh, doesn't connect. Law gets the kill. Too risky, so the rotation doesn't quite pay off. Fort C smile, unfortunately. A little bit of anti synergy there with a the kickback, although that said, spells off cooldown Still once chance. again. They'll look for the post instead. They'll take the consolation prize, and this should be a kill. As well as they can, and Lau, he's just having one of the best games so far. 2 0, 37 CS, six minutes taking the mid tier one tower. He's already got pretty much mana boot complete. Yeah, it's uh, Whisper now in a bit of trouble. He's trying to heal himself up, obviously trying to stay alive, and the Atora is getting turned around upon a bit here, but they don't have the damage to bring him down. The Chaos Knight's going to survive. Matthew now being chased under the Tier 1 tower. Atora, no health, no cares. They'll bring him down regardless. Yo, look the at Panda. gets that kill. Panda's coming in. This is his time to shine. Let's, Let's go! go. <laughs> Oh, the Vengeful oh. Spirit is so low wraparound. You love to see it. What a drive-by. <laughs> the Magic Stick Fairy Fire Venge, nonetheless. <laughs> the Mirror could be in some trouble here as well. Sea Smell's coming across, and yeah, it's going to be another hero going down. Hello. EG able to scrape up some scraps here, but Lyle just oh, sneaks it across. Yeah. He's got an Arcane Rune. He wants to make the most of it here. Not going to pop the Rolling Thunder, though. I don't expect him to with the uh, with the Arcane Rune, but... No. That could have easily been one of them. Like, <laughs> Panda walks yeah. in, 1v3, dies instantly. Or does he solo kill Yataro, TI winner, on his position 5 Venge? Lyle does get the block off onto Sea Smile. Puts him in a very awkward position with Poshka coming across as well. Rolling Thunder, going to be able to run him down. And another sad death in the middle lane. This Earth Spirit having a pretty miserable time every time he comes back to mid. Something from the side of the map, but when you can only play one third of the map, it doesn't really give you the most confidence. They are looking at Yotaro once again on the bot side of the map. They are going to find him. They will indeed, and this is double damage. Dawnbreaker coming on through here and throwing the Shadow Step just to make sure he goes down, and Yatoro will fall again. The only core on the side of Team Spirit to struggle, and EG. Yeah. That's going to be the, the main concern here for EG. Without the Surf Spirit, they don't have the cleanest form of initiation. And Earth Spirit is coming over. They've up. got the Doom available. Do they throw it down as a question? The answer is yes. They're going to go for a kick back into everybody. Stuns there as well. Collapse getting very low. They finish the job. They get the kill. But now they need to get themselves away. And Lal, his Rolling Thunder is up. Inkswell to pop onto the Spectre. Panda sitting behind doesn't have the level six to swap him out just yet, though. So because he's not even going down, though. Team Spirit, they're not getting anything from this. We talked a little bit before about this kind of group up potential which EG has when they are as five men. It is very difficult to bring them down, but again, Panda, meanwhile, just getting clonked on the head by Yatoro. It's going to be an easy pick up for Team Spirit up on the top side. So he starts to take over the dire jungle. And then be ready for that inevitable timing. And yeah, they're smoked up right now, but Spirit, they've already played this top side of the map already. They're not going to be lingering here. You say that. Well, Katara actually now re-enters the jungle. But here's a greedy man on a horse hit. Looking to get some creeps. A swap is going to come in in time. There's a Doom coming out. There's a Shadow Step. The whole kitchen sink being thrown at Yatoro. And nobody is here to help him out, so he will be falling. Team Spirit, do they want to come and invade and get a bit of revenge for their fallen comrade? Dyer's middle tower. That was very aggressive positioning from the Yatoro there. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> oh, silence comes out onto Matthew, meaning he cannot use that Your Celestial Hammer to get himself away, so... When can we break EG, rather than when we maybe break them? Well, the first puzzle piece in breaking EG is on its way out as uh, Collapses Aghanim's Scepter now does arrive, and in the middle lane they're looking for Whisper. Once again, that combination coming down, Mystic Flare doing a lot of work. They'll throw the ultimate down from the Dawnbreaker to try and keep him alive, and Mira's gonna be the one to die in response. The jump in from Sea Smile and from Pekaz. 
Gets them that kill, but Collapse now that arrives. He's got this Aghanim Scepter, immediately blows up Sea Smile with it. Stun out onto two. A beautiful Inkswell coming on down. Swap back onto Collapse, brings him under tower. Does he care? It's just going to set him up for another Bristle back. Whisper narrowly surviving that one, and the Bristle will die. Hmm. <laughs> what do you make hmm. of that one, T? Yeah, I think that's that's kind of a win. Spectre, early game free kills, get yourself to a Radiance. Little bit over aggressive from Spirit there. Yeah, you know, Bristleback, he, he had his shiny new Aghanims. He wanted to show it off to everybody, and he certainly did. Two phenomenal uses of it, but goes down in the process, unfortunately. And now Whisper, he's going to get caught out as well. He's going to be taken out for 30 seconds. <laughs> a bold maneuver. Just trying to uh, blade mail the Bristleback. But Bristleback doesn't care at all. And in the middle lane, Open. they managed to catch Seasmile. out. Oh, poor old Sea Smile again. This is just the cursed lane for him. Every time he turns up here, he just he, he just gets donked on. But it's the mid lane. It's, it's where he belongs. They're playing with a little bit more of a creative freedom, so to speak, in this final series for Team Spirit. Yeah, definitely. And they only need one win, right, on EG. Not the full series. As, oh my god, Sea Smile just gets absolutely bonked. He can't show. He's, he cannot show. And when he's dead, it's really hard for EG to make fights happen as well, so... Pretty costly, but, you know, Doom and Spectre still doing their best to farm up. I mean, Radiant's on the way for Kaz, but... Yeah. I don't know how much it's going to help things at the moment. Things just kind of getting out of control for Team Spirit at the moment. It's like, anyway, you look, I'd expect them to look towards Roshan at some point just to give themselves a little bit more confidence as they sweep across the map of the Dire side. Yeah, Rosh has been kind of ignored up until this point, but, you know, only 20 minutes into the game. Doesn't feel like it, the way Team Spirit are playing as they pick up yet another kill on some Matthew up on the top side. That's a crazy thing about Yotoro as well, like, do you remember with... Surely CK can't be farming this uh -oh. aggressive the entire time, right? Because he's he hunted. needs help. There is no Dawnbreaker, though, to come and help him. Yeah, I think he's just going to get bought down here. Nothing else he can do. Toro and Lal, bring him down. Toro does take a ton of damage whilst trying to do that, but it doesn't make a difference. Like as I said, regardless. And again, you know, you see the difference there. If, if they didn't kill Matthew, they would have never made that play. Because Seems Matthew's like dead. Oh, hold on. They're going for this right now. Grimstroke, he's going to get killed off first. Yatoro, can they find him? Well, he's just going to turn around and fight the guy. He actually drags him into the Mystic Flare, and Yatoro brings down another. Who's looking for whom is the question, and Collapse tries to just blow up the Venge who's TPing out. Bristleback doesn't quite kill him off in time. Just more time, they need more items, more levels, and Yatara, he goes from bot to top, he's... Okay, there was a sentry, okay, okay, a okay. sentry in top lane, and Yatara's dead. Very nicely done, EG, finding the ways, which is holding on, I mean... In fact, the Team Spirit even turning off right now? They're looking towards the middle lane. Matthew, he's going to show, and he is going to be in some trouble. Sarge out onto him. Four stuff is there. Not going to make a difference. That's a double damage pangolier. Taking down Matthew again. Contribute the damage and then dip back out. 60 second cooldown, scaling down to what, 40 seconds at level 18. Yeah, it's incredibly crazy, potent. It? And I think Yotaro wanted to play a little bit more cautious, not to give away some cheap kills. Mira sees Panda. Panda. He's the first one to fly here. Science comes out and Panda is just gone. Now Lal, me looking for the second target here. He's on to Dawnbreaker, but turns around to deal with Sea Smile instead. Sea Smile's just gone. Oh no, who's Solar Guardian going to save ball. the day there? Oh, my poor little Earth Spirit. He's so close to his BKB as well. Together. Nice. And collapsed. He's an incredibly oh, Roshan now. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think my know there's only four players creation. on Team Spirit. Yes. Mm. <laughs> um, dies again for it. <laughs> Who is the carry of this team? I, I don't remember, but uh, a lot oh, jumping in onto two here. Big stun coming out. Spakas held still, but Blade now kind of warning them off at the moment. And Whisper with the BKB as well, also a big threat. Bristleback coming up into their faces right now, but he has got the Aegis, so he doesn't really care about dropping Matthew trying to TP out, but he gets away on a sliver of HP. Lal still chasing, though. Doom no longer has a BKB, and for that, he shall die another death as Team Spirit really start to run them down and collapse. I'm not sure he's stopping. He's got an Aegis. He's got a Sanj. He's got a Bloodstone coming up the high ground. EG, they do force him back for the time being, but goodness gracious, oh, Picaz, you know in a spot at the moment, but finds, finds a little hidey hole. 
just like the perfect game. Collapse, playing his little PvE Dota, right? Soloing Tormentors, soloing Roshan. Meanwhile, the rest of his team's like scrapping through, like, we'll find the pickoffs, we'll find the kills. Like, Collapse is just like chilling. And C Small is just dying. So many constants in this game. He was like, he was like 30 gold off his BK boost. We'll just want to take one wave for it. I've heard you say that so many times now. He's so close to the Ah, but he's dead. Oh no. Oh no. In the middle lane again. Matthew. Nonetheless, yeah. the lap's gonna run down Matthew. Matthew swinging his hammer around. Playing for level 25 Doom. And it makes me really uncomfortable. At 26 minutes, I'm bringing this up, but how do you kill Bristleback right now? Yeah, they don't have this burst damage. They don't really have Diffusal or Scardies. But Kaz is also yeah. dying top lane. He is indeed. This is a big pickoff. It's taken them a while to find it, but Pakaz finally falls up on the top side. But yeah, I agree. I feel like maybe that wasn't the plan coming into the game, but at the point they're at now, they're like, we yeah. don't really have another way back in, boys. And uh, let's actually pop the dust and find the Skyrath, but it's not going to make much of a difference here. Oh, maybe. Four stuff. Yeah, so let's get away. He's too guy. quick. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I was worried for a minute. The uh, Bristleback is in, though. In comes Collapse, just running down Panda. Hero after hero. They're kicking him away. They're kicking him out of the tier fours. What is going on right now? They're going to doom him. They're going to doom the Aegis Bristleback. He's just running around doing whatever he wants, and he doesn't care. Die the fountain. Kick him in. Kick him in. He's asking for it. He's going, God, buddy. Do it. Do it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. He gets doomed, he gets kicked into the fountain, and he doesn't even lose his ages. I mean... Should Collapse have traded his ages to kill Seasmar one more time? That's the real question for me. He had an opportunity. Oh, Matt, mirror though. Yeah. Taka's just going to try now. and pick up the freebie, but is it really free is if he freebie? dies for it? That is the question. Roll in. See, Smile, he's got a BKB, everybody. He can maybe try to take this fight. The swap is there, but it's not enough. Laugh finds him regardless. Blinks on top of him with the Rolling Thunder, as I'll take down Panda as well. The Bristleback, the Yutaro CK, the Lul Pangalier just taking heroes left, right, and center. EG, they got to be close to tapping out soon. I Teams to very deep runs in tournaments and before Spirit. Top of the group, yet to lose a game. Here we go, though. Lal does get his Lincoln's pop. The Doom comes out successfully upon him. They're throwing everything they've got onto the Pangolier, except for the uh, Spectre, who's going on for all the targets right now. But they need to finish this guy off, and they're not going to be able to do so. Now Collapse just comes in and tears them apart. They will be able to kill off the uh, Lal Pangolier, but they're going to lose just about everybody for it, except for Wisp, who's just pieced off down the river. And GG is called game number one, convincingly going in Team Spirit's favor. Maybe have done some... Actually, no, you can't even do like an illusion hero. Because of and then once Yotoro leaves the jungle with a couple of those big items, Battle Fury, Death Shard, then he'll make the call, cool, let's break the game. But there will be more Matthew. levels of downtime and Matthew already. Yeah, feeding away at first, idea. blood. To the PA as well. Oh, no. The creep, not Yotaro, right? So, you know, he's tanking it for his carry. Uh, true enough, true enough. Meanwhile, over in the top lane, Mirror is in some trouble and it's going to get bought down. Hakaz gets the kill and looks over towards Collapse as well. It might be the double. It certainly will. Both going to fall up in the top side. Team Spirit overplaying their hand just a little bit. Okay, not respecting the fact that you have Rot and Inkswell. Oh. What creeps are going to get? A Hellbear Smasher. I feel like I'm Poshka. Oh. Top lane, mirror's gone. Top. Yep. That time, it was just the hook. Doing... Mm, from Watson, yes. From Entity. Yeah. <laughs> he is one of the few players that does still dabble with the the art form of the carry pudge. But it doesn't matter the right top now. Top lane, so everybody's turning up here to bring down Picasso. They want to take down this pudge, and they're going to do so successfully. Sea Smile jumping in, though, looking for the punishment here on the Pangolier, and they're going to be able to bring down Lal. They get one. How much more can they find? Maposhka is the target here, but a nice concussive shot from Mira slowing down all three of them, making it very hard for them to chase. Swashbuckle off the mark, collapse, getting away with this right now. Sea Smile, though, still keeping up the chase. Meanwhile, being kind of accosted by both Maposhka and Mira. 
He's probably going down here. They've got the damage. The Wild Wing Ripper gonna help out as well. The little pet will finish the job. Poshka, now the one in trouble though. Panda, he's got uh, one of his spells available. Should he want to use it as a Wild Wing Ripper, throws him back. Panda trying to get away from this pesky, pesky pigeon. And he will escape. Meanwhile, Picard's trying to bring down Mira as well, but can't quite seem to do The seven minute wisdoms are gonna be so key though. Like the fact that EG, level three, level four on their supports. Mira, it looks like he's trying to get there. Top lane, back has been run down. All the frostbite, it's not gonna save them. Katora gets the dagger off, collapse. He's now in trouble as well as Lyle gonna throw down the pulverize to try and buy collapse the space he needs to get away from this bristleback. Does escape, but now Lyle's the one in trouble and they'll just take him down instead. EG fighting well in this early game. Is Seasmore gonna get the wisdom? Maybe even an axe kill? Oh, 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 oh he didn't Yo. use the call in time. And Seasmore grabs the enemy wisdom rune. EG Absolutely. turning over in this laning phase. He's got plenty of stack to go back to. That will help him keep up a little bit in net worth. But... <laughs> walking in the river again? My goodness, yeah. That's uh, large just brawling right now. Mirror Matthew, oh, God, Matthew, cast some spells. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Collapse is so gone. He's teasing on the Matthew and Panda take him down. Now they move across towards Lala as well. The Primal Beast being beaten down. He's got the Pulverize. He's going to use it to try and buy himself a little bit of time here. Mirror from the side as well, trying to blast in some damage, but it's just not enough. Lala will fall. Panda as well. Mirror to go next as the Swashbuckle comes through onto him. And it is EG who are coming out on top once again. You're probably going to get a kill. You go to Bristle, you're amping up his quills as well, so... Wherever these supports goes, as long as the cores have the resources, you should be uh, able to pack a little bit of a punch into Team Spirit. They have been th throwing their bodies into some engagements, and their supports are now incredibly underleveled. Mirror oh, this level could be four. big, though. See, smile. They need to drop him, and they won't be able to do so. Oh, they don't dead. have the damage. They just don't get it off in time. And now Maposhka, he's going to get dropped. In comes the Pulverize. It's not going to be enough. Surely they get Matthew. Yes, they will. Scarab Mage gets it off, but does die in the process. Oh, and Sea Small actually died on the sidelines as well. Enchantress was able to get off the click, so they do kill the uh, the Pangolier. A very critical kill on the Atari even coming in for this one, but Whispers immediately upon him. Pakaz! He just uh, comes up from the river! Where, <laughs> where did he come from? Uh, what? what is this game? Everyone's just fighting. Yep. Into the river we go once again. Lar gonna stick around for this bottle. Get at the uh, the regen rune. Pakaz trying to set up for the hook. Doesn't quite land it. Primal Beast, he's so damn big, but still. It never really went as far no. south. Matthew's gonna walk into your turn out. Uh, the ultimate. Oh. Here it is. Oh. It's TP out time. <laughs> Pakaz go for the hook. Oh, doesn't quite land it. <laughs> Chad Matthew, though, just walking in as a Poz 4. <laughs> just trying to, sorry, Poz 5 even, and trying to summon. But meanwhile, Sea Smile's gone down on the other side of the map, so all in all, not a great situation for EG now as their Pixel Back's also in trouble. Panda's coming on through, trying to help him out. Big Inkswell coming on out here, stunning them both up. Whisper, he just needs to get off a few more quills, and he can't quite do it. He will fall. Brings down the poster at the very least. Backhouse going for the hook, doesn't connect. Surely they can get the Primal lead Beast at the very least and he will be dying to a panda, but yeah, Pakaz unfortunately unable to connect with that one. You've got to make something happen with this, because that this has just been a lot of wasted time now. They've hit these big timings, and it's just like, oh, oh whatever. And now they jump into the bottom lane. They're going onto the bristle back. It's Team Spirit making the moves right now. There needs to be some sort of response coming out, and there is. The Pudge, he's in the middle. He's in the back. The Poshka collapse already gone. EG, they are able to easily respond to that one. They didn't find an opportunity, but Team Spirit gave them one instead. Yeah, and now, EG, they get the, the kind of counterplay in bot lane. They have the vision set up from the on Bristle now as well. He's joining the Aghanims Club. Pudge going for the blink next. That's exactly what I wanted to see. Give you like oh, a real... Oh, Katora, he jumps in. That's bad. He's going to be in trouble now. No way out of this one. Silenced up. Taken down. Panda, he's going to scoop up that kill. And But just nothing's really connected for him so far. Matthew and Pakaz have been seen here. Collapse, he's going to blink away. He doesn't want anything to do with this Pudge. Not the big boy. Hook, oh, just about misses, but might still be able to close down the gap on Collapse regardless here. No blink dagger available, but he's got the phase boots. Matthew, Pakaz chasing in deep. Collapse, move to the sidelines here, and now will be seen. Goes for the core, goes for the play of nail. Doesn't catch Pakaz inside of it, though, so he can just get off the dismember and finish the kill. Yeah, I think EG should be just looking at Rosham now. And they give the Aegis towards the uh, Bristle. 
I'm a little surprised by that. I think I would have liked to see him on the pod, but he wasn't even in the pit, so looking for some hooks on the side. Yeah, I feel like the big deck of Pudge giving it a... Oh my god, bottom lane. I mean, they're going on to Panda here. They're trying to punish anybody who comes through the portal, but uh, EG are here in numbers. See Smile able to take it down near on the side. Meanwhile, the hero will target away, uh, TP away. The Bristle doesn't feel the best. If he goes on to an Axe Pudge, I think there's an early game window for him to fight, and they did try to make those plays, and it just didn't work out because Spirit was just either a little bit disjointed or late, and now he's in the well, lane. Probably going to be going down again. Yep, I believe so. He turns around, tries to just pulverize to kill the wave, get himself something, but it's not working out for him. Mid lane now as well. They're just comboing, keeping it going right here. Hudge just getting on top of the axe. Axe almost turning it around with the cool and the blade mail, but simply not enough damage to come through onto Picaz to threaten his life. And he will be claiming that kill. <laughs> Jumping on the bristle back. You might be able to kill him once, but can they kill him twice? It's a very good question to you, Governor. I think it's got a very certain answer. And they know as well. They're going to the back lines. They're trying to find the punch, and they might just jab him. He can't get off the BKB because he's stuck in a call. And now C-Smile comes across, but grabbed by Lar with a BKB and pulverized, just cancelling out the role of C-Smile, making him really, really not able to get into this fight. But the PA just gets taken out. Whisper, he's doing way too much damage right here. They don't have the break. They don't have the control. Whisper's just doing whatever he wants. Now moving on to Collapse as well, trying to keep his Crystal Maiden alive but I don't think there's much left in the tank for Matthew here as well. Impetus comes through doing so much damage, but these quills, they're really starting to Actually, stack up. Lull trying to TP away. The Bristle back is there, though. And Whisper will take him down. Triple kill for the Bristle. To slay. Acts cool into, like, three, four hits from the Poshka, and Bristle can die. Oh, here, here we go. Axe cool into three full hits from Apochka. And the Bristle, he's still alive. The he's got himself a Bloodstone. He turns around. The Bristle's back and tears him apart. Collapse. Lol. They're completely gone. That wasn't in the plan whatsoever. I mean, sure. Okay. The Enchantress is hitting them, but she's almost out of mana now as well, especially. It'll be absolutely golden. But they're asking a lot from him. See Small. Rolling Thunder. Oh, no, the roll. He's going to get, he gets another round two, does get the jump onto Maposhka. I mean, it's not the best target. And now BKB with the ultimate on C-Smell holding it back, but he's got an A on disc. So he's going to be able to survive through this for the time being. And where is PA? Gatoro biding his time on the top line. Gets the on top of the bristle, he's gone. They take down the big hedgehog and now they move across. Lars already out, but Gatoro tearing Pakaz apart. Gatoro, he is doing everything in this engagement with Poshka as well. Finds Matthew, slows him down, takes off that Ghost Scepter, and PA gets another one. Oh, it is giving them everything they wanted and more. And now Roshan will be respawning just now. Maposhka sees it. That is what they wanted. A high risk situation for Team Spirit. The pressure is high. And they, they just shrug it off. And now. How does the Pudge enable the bristle back now i think pudge needs to think about okay if they jump the bristle i save him matthew that's when we get to play out the game we'll see if they can pull that off a triple stifling dagger coming out as well throwing out bashes throwing out damage collapse two man call that is perfect double mystic flare coming up as well skyrock doing work matthew's dead immediate buyback look at the punch he's getting destroyed yatoro takes him out moves across towards c smell he's gone as well you fail to find the phantom assassin and you are gonna have a bad time lol jumping in now as well trying to get on top of the pesky bristleback call comes through he stuns him up for the time being but the moment oh oh my goodness the birdstone it almost keeps him alive but not quite in the end he does get out and panda falls as well everybody dead on the side of evil geniuses i mean all of them it's a team effort of course but that 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 divine baiting out the, the call because Nothing. Ooh, oh, nicely they done. The they got Maposhka. Maposhka could fall here, but immediately the Yatara jumps in, trying to bring down Pakaz. Pakaz has survived through this for now, and Maposhka is dead. There's Whisper going to work. If they take down the PA the once, it's a good start, but they need to do it a second time. And meanwhile, Lars just smashing Pangolin into the deck. Now, PA jumps out. He doesn't want anything to do with this fight right now. Even though BKB's been popped, even though spells have been used, even though Mira is in the base. Team Spirit are backing themselves away. They don't want to risk the game, not like this. And they've had a little bit of an advantage. They have been pushing it. They have been making Team Spirit 
Sweat. And if they're doing it with just two supports dead, then they'll definitely do it with a core dead. But now Lal immediately jumping in. They just want to take down the Bristleback straight away, but the Punch is just trying to just, just mess Whisper's things up. So Whisper, he's so low, he's going to have to use the Bloodstone, and he's just not been able to heal off it as well. So the reset is looking very iffy from EG right now. And now Yatoro senses a weakness, jumps in, takes down Pekaz, immediately looking for more. Bye-bye, Crystal Maiden. Panda's going to be the next target. Supports are just getting turned into butter right now as they're all going down on the side of EG3 dead at the misinitiation punished hard by team spirit radiance mid please we don't want to play tiebreakers and we risk don't being eliminated be in the group yep exactly whisper and lal the two big boys happy just kind of throw some spells at each other and see if the other team respond pakaz collapsed jumps in finds the crystal maiden and immediately takes her down that'll be the first casualty of this fight but buyback immediately double dismember coming out from pakaz that's a great way to do things but lol he's got the cheese he can heal himself up refresher bkb turns around uses that smash to just hold up the, the bristle but it's not going to bring him down but yatoru's in kills off the pudge now whisper he's pretty defenseless as pa takes down another but poshka from the sidelines doing so much damage yatoru just not taking prisoners, but knows Whisper is so Turn damn strong with the buybacks coming through as well. The hook, he lands it. The dismember to follow <laughs> up as well. They get him. Yatoru is out for the count. And now the Moonwalks wants collapse as well. And all the Ravia purchase from the PA as she tries to get back into the fight. But catch is being beaten down by Maposhka. Who's the real carry now? They need to get away on the Bristleback. Toothpicks to follow. They keep on chasing here. Team Spirit, they get two kills. They don't have buybacks on the park. They don't have buybacks on anybody now. This might be it. The game might be over. Sure, they kill on standby. BKB now ready. But Bristle, he has the radio. He has a buyback. All There's right. still hope for EG. It comes in with, oh my god, that. that doesn't look like hope to me. He's just gone. <laughs> Life number one taken out. In comes C Smile looking for some revenge, but who grabbed the second rapier T? I don't know. You look at that as Pangal is just being beaten into the ground by Lal. Yatoro taking down everybody right now. Two rapiers up on the Phantom Assassin. Matthew, he's going to lose his life. But inside the fountain, Whisper goes down as well. Team Spirit 2-0 over Evil Geniuses.